Mortal Instruments, City Bones, comes out uh, August 21st, fantasy movie um, based on a series of novels that you know, 100 million people have read, and uh, so we're excited. It comes out pretty soon, and we're just starting to get kicked off on all the press, so yeah, people, people are going to like it, I think. I play Alec Lightwood, who is a uh, shadow hunter, half human, half uh, sort of angel, um, and we basically protect the world from, uh, from all the bad crap that's out there. So uh, it's a fun role, a lot of fighting, a lot of cool stuff to, uh, to get to do, so it was, it was a blast. Crazy, right? I mean, I, I've been bouncing, going back and forth between different hotels, and this is my first time here, so I'm just kind of trying to soak it all in. And, and uh, but this is great, man. This is like, you know, this is like a whole other thing besides making a movie. This is like a world in and of itself. So, listen, I just saw it a couple weeks ago. It's a good movie, irregardless of whether you read the books or not. It's a great ride. It's two hours. It flies by, and you know, it's uh, it's it's what you go to the movies for. It's a great escape. Really well acted, besides me, and uh, and uh, you know it's a lot of good action, great fighting, good stuff for guys to go see. So it's great. Yeah. So hopefully we'll be getting that symptom between so Mexican food. What can you tell us? Well, that was room service. Uh, oh. <laughs> so uh, what about I have, the food? we got in last night, so I, I was I wasn't able to join them for dinner, but uh, I think we we're going out tonight. We are. We are going out tonight. I don't know where, but um, the room service at the same region is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I would like to start this first conference by asking each one of you, which was your approach to this book? What, what was your first encounter with the search? Did you know the books before uh, being cast, or how did you happen? Well, um, I actually got introduced to the Warriors Mints by a casting call, so... Uh, I was filming in China back then, and uh, I was introduced to Magnus Bang, and I was very interested in this character in the whole series. So um, I went to uh, purchase the books myself in Asia, and uh, it was really hard to find, by the way. And uh, I just read the books, and I became a fan of it. And here I am doing a <laughs> press interview in Mexico, so it's a really good opportunity for me, and um, I just love the whole series, and the movie's awesome. Uh, I, um, I was also filming something else uh, in Canada, and um, I, I read the script about a year before prior. Um, the film took a while to make, uh, a few years I think, um, from now, yeah, for Lily. So, um, I just, I met with Carol, and we read a scene I threw in, um, and it, it happened very quickly. Um, I hadn't read the books. Uh, I literally just had time to read the script from the plane. Um, but before we started shooting, I, I read uh, the first book. And um, have subsequently, we're shooting the second film in, in three weeks. Yes, sir. Um, so, uh, so I've now read the second book, and uh, we should be getting the script today or tomorrow, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. So um, that was my. That was my introduction to uh, to this world, but I had no idea how popular the books were. Um, I was just I just sort of read it as a script, and I uh, wanted to work with uh, both of these two, uh, one of the sort of two that were cast uh, when I was uh, when I was cast. That's it. I was in Los Angeles two and a half years ago uh, for pilot season, doing rounds as well. Um, and I got a phone call asking if I would like to go in an audition for a film called The Mortal Instruments. And I said, absolutely, I got the sides. And the sides mentioned this character, Jace, and they just, it described him as a cross between Jim Morrison and Spider-Man. And I was immediately drawn to it. I was like, I love this, this is awesome. Um, I didn't really expect anything. Like I sort of expected a no, as you always do in these things. So I sort of just left it. And then I got a call saying that they'd like me to go and camera test with uh, Miss Collins next to me. So upon getting that phone call, I, I read the first three books, uh, immersed myself in the world again. Left Los Angeles. Just was like, you know, th that was amazing. I had a great time. Whatever happens, happens. Didn't really expect anything. And then a week later, I got a phone call saying that I've got it. And I thought it was a bad joke. Um, but it turns out it wasn't a bad joke. And I'm, here I am. It was a great joke. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And that was two and a half years ago.
was a huge fan of the books before I was passed. Um, I found one of the series in a bookshop, read it, became obsessed, and heard they were making it into a movie. So I made phone calls and emails to my agents asking how to get involved. And um, it actually turned out that they they approached me about the role. So it kind of organically happened. So I didn't have to audition, um, which is a weird thing. It's very lovely. Um, <laughs> very lovely, but very strange. Um, yeah, that was three years ago. So it's been a labor of love for three years. And then um, had auditions with J Jamie or Jace's and Simon's and um, kind of went from there. But it's been a long time. Vamos con la primera pregunta de los que... Gracias, buenos días. Artes de Bebé, Mayra Vinte y eh, Pali, entiendo que tú eras más en la saga, tú conoces a todos los personajes femeninos. ¿Qué otro personaje te hubiera gustado interpretar? Gracias. very happy with Clary. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I don't, I didn't read the books thinking that I would ever even play Clary, so I never envisioned myself um, playing a character when I read books. So, I guess after finding out they were making it into a movie, I couldn't really see myself as anyone but Clary, and if I wasn't cast as Clary, then that was totally fine. I, 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 I don't know, I, I associate a lot of characteristics with Clary and myself, and there were a lot of things that I felt I could learn from her. But I've always said that um, if they were to allow me to play a guy, I'd like to play Magnus. <laughs> but Godfrey obviously plays it way better than I ever would. Muy bien, la siguiente pregunta aquí adelante nos 